No, I look ahead to this month and I say it looks like it's going to be a warmer than normal one again across the northeastern United States, which probably doesn't come as much as of a surprise to you, right? I mean, even the first 10 days of the month, you know what we're going to do? The whole monthly average high temperature is 46 degrees. In the first 10 days, we'll be above that already. Uh, and I, th I don't see that pattern really flipping around at all. So then it becomes, okay, the question of precipitation. It looks like moisture comes out of the Gulf of Mexico. The one way this would be wrong is if the moisture gets cut off in the mid-Atlantic. It should definitely be above normal southeast mid-Atlantic. I think we get into that too. I think that also is kind of born here, uh, born out over the next 10 days or so. The interesting part's the snow at nine inches. You would think with a warmer than normal pattern, it's probably not going to happen. At the same time, you know what? Research has shown that over the last 15 years in the climate change environment, you do end up with bigger storms, especially in March. And if you're on the cold side of it, you can get a real humdinger of a storm. So I can't rule that out. Uh, but at the same time, certainly you wouldn't think it's favored given the forecast pattern, right? 20 degrees or so around the area right now. Teens in the cooler spots. There is a little bit of a breeze, but it's not much. Uh, the wind will pick up a little bit in the afternoon. It starts coming out of the southwest a little. Speaking of the southwest, where the weather's going to be coming from, there's moisture down there. Uh, it's still far enough away, and right now we're under the influence of high pressure, fair weather, that we're going to be dry today. You'll be dry tonight. You're even going to be dry in a lot of spots tomorrow morning. It's by midday onward things go downhill a little bit. So highs today, 40 to 45, but as I mentioned, in the feels like forecast. The breeze picking up in the afternoon means it never really feels like more than the 30s today. Overnight tonight, we'll back down to about 30. And then tomorrow, again, the clouds are in early. There might be a sliver of sun on the eastern horizon at sunrise. I think the clouds take over quickly after that. Showers, though, are slower to eat away at the dry air. So showers in, in south of the pike are possible by noon. But even that you can see is scattered until you get down to Hartford and Providence. Well, afternoon, though, it really fills in. Yeah, I mean, by 5 p.m., it's raining all the way up to, uh, you know, Auburn and Lewiston, Maine. Uh, we're into the rain all through the course of the afternoon, the evening, the night tomorrow. I do think most of the rain's done Sunday, probably a leftover shower or two, but the wind is out of the north and northeast, and that means it's not going to be beautiful. It's going to be a lot of clouds around. And then heading into next week, maybe a shower or two Monday, and it ramps up again Monday night into Tuesday. So, And then again later in the week. Chance of rain tomorrow is about 100%. But again, a lot of that's going to be found a shower at midday, the better chance of rain afternoon, evening, night. So highs still can squeeze out 50 degrees. What's interesting on Sunday is the chance of rain does drop, especially if you're away from the coast. But with a northeast and northerly wind, I just think you're going to get patchy drizzle in the morning, a shower or two, still a 50% chance of that. And at the coastline from Boston to the Cape, you're likely in the 40s on Sunday versus probably being able to break 50 when you come inland. Here's the extended forecast for you. Again, Monday may not rain again until we get to late in the day and then at night. Tuesday, it should get out early. Maybe a little break later Tuesday into Wednesday. Wednesday evening through Friday morning, it rains again. And then next weekend, I'm more hopeful Saturday than I am for Sunday, but we'll see how that shakes out. It's a long way out.